students today we are going to start a new lesson that is plant water relation in this lesson we have to study only three topics as major part is deleted the three topics are properties of water water available to roots for absorption and water absorbing organ before that we'll study about water first as we know that 71% of earth is covered in water and hence earth is called as blue planet 60% of human body is made up of water water is used by all terrestrial animals to drink in order to provide essential minerals for the body's nourishment and water constitutes about or almost 90 to 95% of plant cells and tissues and due to these reasons water is called as elixir of life jeevanache amrut the actual meaning of elixir of life is it is a liquid or potion or substance which when drunk gives or brings immortality and eternal youth elixir of life is sometimes equated with philosopher's stone a stone which could convert all metals into gold water molecule is made up of or consist of two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom and makes an hoh angle and this hoh angle is approximately 104.5 degrees water is one of the most plentiful and essential of compounds water exists in gaseous liquid and solid state water is tasteless odorless and colorless liquid at room temperature even though it provides no calories or organic nutrients it is vital for all known forms of life water is the most important factor for all vital activities of plant the word vital means important or necessary plants obtain a variety of substances like water minerals nutrients food and gases from its surrounding now let's see some properties of water these are the different properties of water the first one is water is in liquid form at room temperature then water is the best solvent for most of the solutes water is neither acidic nor alkaline it is neutral ph then water forms the best transporting medium for dissolved minerals and food molecules it is the best aqueous medium for all biochemical reactions occurring in the cell water has high specific heat high specific heat means the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature which means it takes more energy to increase the temperature of water compared to other substances this is called specific heat and water has high specific heat then water has high heat of vaporization which means the amount of energy needed to change 1 g of liquid to gas at constant temperature is called heat of vaporization and water has high heat of vaporization then water has high heat of fusion that is it is the quantity of heat necessary to change 1 g of solid into liquid with no temperature change then another property is water is water acts as thermal buffer that means water resist changes in temperature more than other liquids and this happens because when we provide heat to water molecules it absorbs it and do not get affected it does not allow the breakdown of bonds immediately on application of heat because we know that water freezes at 0 degree centigrade and boils at 100 degree centigrade due to 
or uh, all these properties are only because the hydrogen bonds present between water molecules hydrogen bond or bonding occurs only in molecules where hydrogen is covalently bonded to one of the three elements that is fluorine oxygen or nitrogen these three elements are so electro electronegative that they withdraw majority of electron density in covalent bond with hydrogen leaving the hydrogen atom very electron deficient so because of these hydrogen bonds water shows the different properties then it also shows adhesive and cohesive forces of attraction the difference between adhesive and cohesive forces of attraction is the attractive forces between molecules of different types are called as adhesive forces the attractive forces between molecules of same type are called as cohesive forces cohesive forces holds hydrogen bonds together to create surface tension on on water whereas adhesive forces pull the water towards other molecules these are the differences between adhesive and cohesive forces of attraction and water is highly cohesive so this is all about the properties of water now coming to the water available to roots for absorption now as we know that roots absorb water from the soil and plants sorry plants absorb water from the soil with the help of roots now plants absorb water from the rhizosphere that is the micro environment surrounding the root the water present in the soil occurs in different forms that is gravitational water hygroscopic water or hygroscopic water combined water and capillary water now these are the different forms of water that is available in the soil out of these four the first three are not available that is roots cannot absorb this water the only available water is capillary water that is absorbed by the roots of plant so first we'll see what this what do they mean gravitational water means the water percolates deep into the soil due to gravity is called as gravitational water this water is also not available for absorption the fine particles or fine soil particles imbibe or absorb water and hold it the word absorb means adsorption adsorption is a process of adhesion of molecule of liquid or gases on to the surface or in other words adsorption is a surface phenomenon where molecules simply attach to surface of the absorbent even this water is also not available for absorption then comes the next water which is called as combined water water present in the form of hydrate hydrated oxides of silicon aluminum etc is called combined water this is also not available to plants for absorption some amount of water is held in pores present between the soil particles due to capillarity and this water is called as capillary water and this is the only water which is available for absorption and this water is absorbed by the roots of the plant thank you